Hey, good afternoon, people. This is Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to do a little test pour again. I'm in my art lab mode. I am testing the um, folk art, folk art colour sheet paints. So this is what I'm testing. I did a test a couple of days ago in doing like a bloom effect but like a real easy bloom effect, one with that, that wasn't all the different ingredients. And that will be on my, uh, in my videos on my channel. So, but today I'm gonna test the color shift with doing a flip cut pour and um, see how we go. I'm doing it just on this little smaller canvas, which is a 20 by 25, I believe. And I'm going to yeah, do a flip cut and see how a little flip cut turns out with these paints. So it's just testing them. The only thing different than the, the folk art colour shift um, is I'm just adding, I've got some, um, going off tether here, sorry. I've got some studio acrylic in white titanium, but I'm uh, in brilliant white, and I mixed it with Floetrol. And I've also got some black, well, a dark navy actually mixed with Floetrol. So I will be mixing the two different brands. So this is the folk art, and it was mixed with about 50 50, I suppose, maybe just a bit more Floetrol than paint. Um, I think it is supposed to be quite thick but I think that's more so when you're doing a bloom effect. So um, I did a bloom effect the other day to see what it came out like, and it's absolutely stunning, stunning, but without any bother, without all the ingredients, because I only added Floetrol and a teeny tiny bit of GAC 800, I think, which I don't normally use, but I had it here and I just thought, oh, I'll stick some of this in. So I did. So today I've tried a swipe with it and I've tried a bloom and so I'm going to try the uh, flip, a flip cut pour on this little canvas. So wish me luck peeps, wish me luck. I might do it with um, smaller, where are they, my smaller cups. Oh, I've got my little puppy here that's into everything. What have you got now, you little monkey? Come here, little mine. What you got? What have you got? It's got a piece of bone or something. My goodness, you've got to have eyes up the back of your head to keep a track of it. Oh dear, okay. I'm back, I'm back. I'm flip cups, flip cups. Where are my little flippy cups? Now, I, think I, better, I think I better go bigger than my tiny flip cups. So maybe, maybe the one might do it if I put some paint around the outside. So I'm gonna give this a go. So, so, wish me luck with a flip cup with the color shift paints. Now the color shift paints I believe are to give you this unbelievably sheeny, shiny effect that when you look at your art in a different angles it's got it you know it kind of shifts the color so to speak shifts the color so i'm gonna do it this way i think um yeah so i'm really happy with the swipe i did and i'm happy with the bloom effect i did so i just wanted to try all the different sort of well a few of the techniques to see how it um reacted with them so that was the purple flush blush the red blush flush or whatever it's called and this is called black flush but it's almost like a gun metal um, and it's got sparkly bits in that are very sparkly so this is the rose flush i think might add a little bit of just just this is just the studio acrylics black uh, well I've made navy which is the phalo blue and a blob of black um, and a blob of green but I've mixed it with Floetrol 
like I said I don't normally use much flow troll in my work unless I want particularly to try to get lacing effect which does excellent for lacing so that's the green and the orange so yeah it will be interesting to see how the um, colour shift comes out with these where are we going where are we going okay I might use this up now I think I can get it to stretch around the whole of this little canvas so it should give me some idea what flip cups come out like with the colour shift paints so it's all in, it's really interesting trying different paints and different styles in different paints because they all have their own little forte at what works best for them so far these have done really well in a swipe beautiful in a swipe and really lovely in the bloom effect and lacing so pretty versatile you get that nice sheeny shiny finish on them so you wonder what else can they come up with next really and they still seem to um come up with something okay Add a bit more of my white. So when you mix, um, use using basically Floetrol as a pouring medium is what you're doing because you're adding just Floetrol to your acrylic paint. And Floetrol is just a paint conditioner and a paint extender. But um, the people that don't like to add the PVA glue and water mixes, um, but as I was told that the ingredients in um, Floetrol are the same as that is in PVA glue. So <laughs> they're the same ingredients. In fact, there's more water in Floetrol than there is in when you make PVA and water. Floetrol is mostly water. So it's, it is interesting. Interesting. Just finishing off the rest of these paints because I think if I leave them another day maybe they won't be so nice to use could be wrong now there's absolutely no silicone in any of the paints I'm using today yeah. only the um, flow troll for cells so we'll just see what we get with flow troll you can see the colors glistening and sort of like even just pouring this orange out i can see like a lilac in it but you're obviously not seeing those effects um, on the camera so i don't know what sort of camera i'd have to have to get to see those effects i suppose i shouldn't put too much black in so it might overtake the whole kidly boo okay let's do this Oh, I can see already sheeny shininess. I will pour some white around my edges. Hope that you guys are all all right, going well and coping as best can be expected with all the wild goings on in the world at the moment. Just stay safe, people. Create. Do something that gives you joy. think that I'm going to start throwing in a little joke each time to lift spirits. I, I don't want it to be anything political. <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> pardon me. But don't go out of line. I had a little joke. So what? Why don't cannibals eat comedians? So why don't cannibals eat comedians? Because they taste funny. That's my mom joke. You know they have dad jokes? Well, that's my mom joke. So there you go. Oh, flipping floppers. Oh, oh, you ought to see that. It's just like the purple has got like greeny, sheeny shininess in it. Wow. Okay. I think I well and truly overdid the amount of paint that this little canvas needed. But... 
Oh, I'm losing all those lovely colours, but yeah. Popsicles at the popsicles. Oh uh, yeah, come back. Yeah, okay. Nothing really special at the minute, but oh my goodness, there's some nice stuff in there. I might have to run, actually I'll run it through. Do a... Oh, wowzers, that's a bit gorgeous. Oh, look at those popping up. You definitely can't see this gorgeous, glimmery, shimmering that's underneath this um, that's coming up through this paint. It's really lovely, 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 jubbly. Okay. Oh, look at the cells popping up. Just my little heat one. Oh, look at that. Shall I put another little bit of a line through there? It just gives it a bit of interest, doesn't it? <gasps> Yo, yeah, that's really pretty. I like it. Okay, that is very nice. Imagine that on a nice big canvas. It's sheeny shiny, trust me, sheeny shiny. is nice now I should do the Kathleen Kathleen Miller that puts this kind of thing on a spinny on the spinny wheel which I have got my spinning wheel I wonder how good that would turn out going on my spinny wheel but anyway I think I'm quite happy with this result and this particular one I'm gonna just dib dab my fingers on the corners oh I like it look at this that's really pretty it is actually nice doing something else through it instead of just leaving the cup the flip cup on its own it's really interesting that's nice let me know what you think guys thank you so much for joining me for this quick little flip cup with the um, color shift paints very interesting and it is truly sheeny shiny I will put this piece on my acrylic art by jilly cube facebook page as it when it's dry and let you see if i can try and capture the um the color shift in the paint i will put photos on at the end after i leave it for a couple of hours and see how if anything further develops but it is very pretty give that a go by just putting the um cut through i think what uh karen dernish puts uh, the the lip of the cup back through there's a few artists that do that so i've got a, a few different styles in there so let me know what you think guys thank you so much for joining me oh i've got this over in the far corner sorry about that we here we go okay so look at it is sheeny shiny and you can imagine when it's dry I think if this dries well then I will give it a coat of resin to just see if I can get that color shift paint to really shine through but that's a little beauty a real little beauty so thank you for joining me thanks so much for subscribing if you haven't done so I'd really appreciate it cost you absolutely nothing to hit the subscribe button thank you until next time and i'll try and find another mommy joke next time or a grandma joke should i call them mother and a grandma so there you go so thank you so much for joining me until next time bye for now